Alright, so I'll be showing you guys how to reset your speedos on your F uh, series trucks to get your speedo down to zero. Um, typically for us uh, by street truck rods when we're doing rebuilds and restorations on our trucks we try to bring down the speedo down to zero kilometers per hour for the for the customers of course so they know of course about it so they've got a a truck that's rebuilt and it starts on zero so so typically what you do is that uh, on the back when the cluster when you take it out you've got these two 6.3 6.3 millimeter socket that will fit on there and you just undo those two screws and of course you have to take off the cluster customer cluster from the panel and this is what you sit with um, that will come out there I already reset this speedo from the mileage it was down to zero and it's on currently on two this one is on zero so I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do this one um, it's a good thing while the speedo is out of the cluster to do some maintenance on it uh, of course some of them do look good others do have a lot of rust on the surface uh, what you need is to do this is basically um, some WD-40 just to lubricate the shaft on both sides and on the speedo itself um, they do tend to get sticky a bit and then of course you need a side cutter, a long nose pliers and I use ear buds as well so this one I have opened up previously um, so it does go a bit easier normally this shaft sits quite uh sits quite difficult to get it out but normally this one i really like i said i really took it out so you've got four gears taking out that pin all these dials here are loose except for your The far right dial. That one um, you have to down rewind down to zero. So what I do is I just push in a earbud in there and I wind the clock anti-clockwise. So that will bring I would like to just bring it down to zero. That makes the whole procedure easy when I connect the gears in position again you'll see that um, of course it is not as easy as it, as it seems sometimes it does even though I've done this a couple of times I still struggle a bit and um, so it can either go well or it can go bad When you turn it anti-clockwise, you can see actually the speedo is picking up some speed. So you can also use a drill just to make the whole procedure a bit uh, quicker. But this tends to take some time if you only start at one kilometer. And you have to go all the way around to zero. But yeah, so on a drill you will probably, the setting will be on anti-clocks and you will run down that that dial quickly back to zero Just a tip regarding the surface um, on top here uh, Don't use any with um, liquids like petrol or even thinners on that white it's uh, it's been pre-coated with a luminous paint so the petrol and thinners will definitely damage that that's um, 
but uh, speed out there where you see so yeah I'm coming down to zero and that's where basically I let it leave it's quite a workout for your thumbs right so there it is on zero you'll see that mark there um, is your guide and then what you do is you just basically get all your guides in line with that one so you'll see there's two you see there will be two zeros and of course you will go down the line to two there it will move around the other dials so just keep them all in line as you go down some of them are sticky so you do struggle a bit so to it's time consuming normal normally this will take me about 20 minutes to do it um, of course if you're the first time that you're gonna try this it's gonna probably take a bit longer but yeah unfortunately you need do you do need good eyesight um, one isn't that great anymore so so that's basically how it's going to look. You have zeros all the way down. Alright, so the next tip I can give you guys is basically you must now try to keep this whole um, dial in position so it doesn't move. So what I do is normally I just use some insulation tape and you can use any any type any clear type or whatever you have so what I'll do then is I'll just slide it down at the top so try not to, to touch the dial where you can actually feel it's hitting and then you just slightly pull it down like that then you won't see the dials anymore what you then do is you just tap that down so the tape and the numbers do make contact slowly just tap that down you can give it a good rub if it's in position Because you don't really want that to move as soon as that move and when you've put it your pin in you definitely have um, the wrong mileage so the next step will be is to insert your pin again so what you have to remember is this this is now the tricky department this gear is got one long and one short spline so the idea is that the long spline must go into that groove down there all right so what i do is um i'm just going to move the camera a bit this way so that you can maybe see better So the idea is to keep your your speed out as straight as possible and what I will do then is this back piece must show towards the white piece white dial of the speeder I will pinch the long 
and I will insert it yeah so you will put it on the first one like I said it's not as easy as it looks even though I've done this a couple of times so what you do now is that you've got that gear in there you move this gear back oh man you move this gear So, what you do is you put it on the long gear into that groove and you'll move it back, sync it with the gears. As soon as it links up with the shaft, you push through the shaft. That's your first gear that's in position. Now you do your next one. You can either do this by hand or by the long nose pliers, but it is difficult. So I sometimes use my hand or the long nose pliers. So you've got you have to get that long get into that groove. You do struggle. And then you move it back. And then you push the shaft through. So now you can see the two short splines of this gear is lining up. Right, so two down, three to go. The direction of the of the gear, not the direction of the gear. You can't put it any in in any other any other way. Alright, so that goes in there, long one in there, move the shaft back and push the shaft in. Alright, three, three down, two to go. Again, the long gear, let's go into that groove there. Move the shaft down to the short spline is lining up. As you can see, three of them are lining up. That's what you need. If that's not the case, then you're going to have problems. Bear in mind that our twos are still in line. If that is not in line anymore you have to start over get your long gear into the groove sometimes you need a long nose pliers just to Get that right in there, like that. Move it back in sync with the rest of the gears and move the shaft through the last gear. Your shaft should now move all the way into that position. Note that your short spline of the gear are all in line and all your twos are still in sync you don't have to press the spin in all the way you can just leave it in there get that right in there like that 
move it back in sync with the rest of the gears and move the shaft through the last gear your shaft should now move all the way into that position note that your short spline of the gear are all in line and all your twos are still in sync you don't have to press the spin in all the way you can just leave it in there um, so basically if we take this tape off now all of our gears all of the mileage should show zero